हेलो ऑल टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट फाइव बेसिक ऑपरेशंस ऑफ कंप्यूटर इनपुट इनपुटिंग इज अ बेसिक ऑपरेशन ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम दिस इज द एक्ट ऑफ फीडिंग इन द डेटा एंड इंस्ट्रक्शन टू द कंप्यूटर अ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट फंक्शनल यूनिट एंड इनपुट यूनिट डज द ऑपरेशन ऑफ इनपुटिंग बाय इनपुटिंग you should understand that it is to send data and or instruction to the computer in required format the devices that help you to input data and instructions are known as input devices keyboard mouse light pen joystick scanners microphone etc are some examples of input unit devices the devices that can send data directly to the cpu or which does not need to encode it before sending to cpu are considered direct entry input devices such as scanners devices such as a keyboard which require encoding data so that it is in the form a cpu can understand are indirect entry input devices process the task of performing calculations and comparisons are known as processing the unit in computer system that is responsible for processing is alu arithmetic and logical unit alu is the place where actual execution of the instructions take place during the processing operation all calculation and comparisons are made in the alu the data and instructions stored in the primary storage are transferred to it as when required alu may produce intermediate results and store it in the memory which is also transferred back to the alu for the final processing after completion of processing the final results are sent to storage units from alu output this unit take care of receiving processed information from processing unit and present it to the user in the suitable form a computer produces result in binary form and output unit does decoding to make it usable to the users soft copy output is something that is temporary or is available only as long as the output device is turned on contrary to these are hard copy output which is permanent the printout in a paper is not lost because the printer is turned off storage before actual processing start data and instructions entered to the computer must be stored somewhere inside the computer similarly results produced by the computer are required to be stored before it is passed to the output unit similarly looking at whether the storage device works close with cpu or works as backup media they can be primary storage or secondary storage primary storage is also called primary memory secondary storage is known by other names such as backup storage or secondary memory for the storage purpose a computer system may have different devices such as registers cache ram rom flash magnetic disk optical disk and so on controlling alu does not know what should be done with the data likewise output unit does not know when the result should be displayed by selecting in turning and seeing to the execution of the program the cpu is able to maintain order and direct the operations of the entire system cpu does not perform any actual processing on data yet it is known as a central nervous system for the comforts of the computer it manages and coordinates the entire system thanks for watching the video like share and subscribe our channel